The Bible says, a wise child maketh a glad father, but a foolish child is the heaviness of its mother. You got to take the blame, sister, for your foolish children. Because if you were a wise mother, you'd make a wise child. But the whole society is geared to make a fool out of women. Right. Make you think your backside and your breasts and your hips and your hair is more important than your mind. If you were to poll the young women in this audience, you might find over 50% of them have been abused by their fathers, have been abused by their uncles, mm -hmm. have been abused by their brothers. There's very few of these young girls have grown up without being abused. When you abuse a girl, it's worthy of death. That's right, teach a lesson, man. Because what you don't know about the value of the female, <laughs> the Native Americans can teach, teach more about the value of the female than any religion yes. that I've seen. Yes. Right. Islam is my faith, but I don't like to practice in the way it treats women. Come on. It's so different from what the prophet wanted. Yes. Yes. The way Christians treat their women is so different than what Jesus wanted. Yes. The way the Jews treat their women is so much different than what Moses wanted. Yes. Right. Till women all over the world are crying out. Yes. Because they're abused and misused and disrespected because we men don't know the value of a good woman. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught me that woman is the heaven of man. You don't need to die and go to heaven if you're alive and know how to treat a woman. You got heaven on earth while you live through a woman if you understand. She's created. She's created by God to console a man, to give him peace and quiet of mind. That's the Quranic view. The Bible says she's created by God to help man to meet the obligation that God laid on man. She's his natural helper. Yes. But a man don't need a woman who's going no place with no idea, no vision, no 